What's good everybody? Welcome back to Joe's Card Stash and I made an impulse buy. Uh, I bought this. This is a uh, Prism 2023 premium box set. I've never bought one of these. I'm a sucker for a Dutch auction. You know, Panini was doing the normal thing with this where they, you know, they put it up on their site and the Dutch auction, you know, if you don't know how that works, watch my first off the line video. Basically they, they put something up on their site at a very high price and every five minutes it goes down and you kind of just buy in whenever you feel like it's a good price. And I was watching it just kind of just, you know, I was curious what it would go to and I thought it'd be good stuff to talk about for the channel. And I'm watching and it's going down, 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 down. And it got towards about the 700 mark. It started at 2,500. It got down to about 700 bucks and I was like, man, this is a good buy for this. There's a lot of really good cards in there. It got down to about 650 and I just pulled the trigger. I bought a little high, it actually went down to 550. So I, I bought about $100 higher than I should have. But what can you do, you know? I thought it would be cool for the channel. It'd be fun to open this, it'd be cool to look at the cards. You know, just to talk about 2023 Prism in general. You know, I haven't had, really had a chance since it's been out to really talk about the rookies that are in here, who I think is great, you know, all this Hasbulla shit kind of overshadowed how many great fighters are in here. So I thought this would be a good chance to open this up, show you what the premium sets are like, you know, what I think is good about them, and uh, just talk about the set in general. So it's gonna be great. Please stick around. And of course, as always, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you like UFC cards or know anybody who likes UFC cards, subscribe to my channel. You won't regret it. I guarantee you'll enjoy it. Also, before you forget, like this video right now. Like the video, and then as always, comment. You know, I, I answer all the comments. I love talking to you guys, so tell me what you think about this product. Let's talk some UFC cards. Let's go, let's get into it. All right, let's talk about Prism 2023 premium box set. Now I've never bought one of these before. They've been around since the very first Prism, 2021 Prism. Um, I'm excited to open it. What it is, it's, it's, not a, it's not a box like where you open packs and you're hoping for a one of one or a gold or any of these like mojos, any of these low number parallels. This is just a set. This is the entire base set, but they're all numbered out of 99. So it's like I compare it to the oranges in Hobby, you know, those are numbered out of 99 and they, oranges sell for a lot of money, especially the good cards. You have a whole set of these, like every 200 cards in that low numbered, you know, parallel. And they have a cool look, they're, um, these are like the kind of Pandora, which they had an optic, it's like, it kind of like a checkerboard pattern, it's really cool. Uh, the last two years have been the scope pattern, which was also in select. I like this better, so that's another reason I bought this. So I just thought, you know what? At this price, I'm getting some great cards. You know, I can, I can sell them, I can grade them, I can, you know, get them to people who wanna just think these cards are cool. You know, if you guys like any of these, hit me up on Instagram, joes underscore card underscore stash. And if you see anything in this video that you want, let me know, make me an offer, I'll send it out to you. I don't know, I just thought it would be fun. So we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna get into it. The one thing that's cool about this is you do get an autograph. Right on top, there's gonna to be an auto here that is unique to this box. So, um, oh, I just realized my box is numbered too. So uh, there's gonna be an autograph in here. It's the uh, flashback auto with the same pattern that all these cards have. It's number to 15. It's what you really get that's unique in this box. You, get, you can get Hamzat, you can get Habib, you can get Izzy, you can get a whole bunch of people. The Hamzad is the one I really want, even though it's a redemption, because I don't have any Hamzad autos. So that's a cool kind of thing. We'll leave it till the end, but we'll see what we get. And uh, that's it. Let's open it up. Let's talk 2023 Prism. I'm excited just to talk about the rookies in here, you know, just the set in general, like how it's doing, you know, get away from that Hasbulla distraction bullshit and actually talk about the fighters that are amazing in this set. I'm really excited. Hope you are too. Let's get into it. Let's, let's, let's open this thing up and see what we got. Okay, we're gonna open this thing up, see what we get. I'm also gonna talk about, you know, just Prism 23 in general. I wanna talk about, you know, the fighters I like, what I'm excited about, you know, the, a lot of them either have fought recently and, you know, done well, or they're gonna fight soon, you know? So I wanna talk about, you know, the future for these guys and just, 
just fighting in general, I'm, you know, I want to talk about UFC. You know, one thing that's kind of weird about this box, this is unusual, is that we know what's in here. It's going to be a whole bunch of cards numbered to 99. So we're not going to get a lot of surprises. So mainly I just like want to talk about the fighters. Like, you know, am I excited for what's coming up for them? Where things are going, you know, etc. And then obviously at the very end, we'll see what my auto is, which is the surprise, which could be huge. You know, if I get a Hamzat, if I get an Izzy, if I get, I don't know, any of those, I'd be really happy. Those are the two main ones I'm looking for. Enough about all this shit, let's get into it. Let's open this thing up. I don't have my knife, I'm gonna use scissors this time. Let's see what we can do with some scissors. And let's open it, here we go. It is opened. Okay, so I have this new card I made with the Joe's card stash guy. So when I open this, I believe the auto is right on top, so I'm gonna cover it up so we don't see that, and we can go through the cards and then do the auto at the end, so. Hopefully I can do it okay and make it work. Uh, let's see. All right, let's put that over here. We're gonna open this. Put that over here. Okay. I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna close my eyes so I don't see what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, that's the auto. I'm gonna put that on top of it. And then put this over here. There's our auto. Okay, here we go. Here is the set. That is the entire base set, numbered to 99. Um, I have a little cheat sheet here of fighters, you know, rookies that I'm looking for, uh, non-rookies that I think will sell well. I'm, I'm honestly, the reason I bought this was I figured if I break it up and sell it online, I can make most of my money back, plus I get the auto, plus I can grade some of these. What I'm trying to do right now, I don't know if you guys know, but PSA has a $16 deal for the month of May with 2023 or 2022 cards, but you have to have 20 cards. And I've been going through all my cards and I only have like 11 or 12 cards to send to them. So I need like eight or nine cards that are perfect. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm like not messing around this time. I don't want anything that looks like a nine. I want things that look like they're a 10. So I thought if I bought this set, I would find cards in here to send with my PSA order and get them graded and you know sell them. So. That's the thing I'm looking for. I'm looking for, you know, good rookies that I can sell. Obviously, Hasbala is going to be a big one. Bo Nickel, Raul Rosas. Any of those, you know, if I can grade them, cool. If not, I'm going to sell them. But any of the other rookies I really like, I want to grade because I think they have a good future. And, you know, we'll see. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to just make a bunch of stacks. and We're just going to go through it. And we're just going to talk about fighting and, and you know, what's going on lately. Um, and as always, please guys, comment below. Tell me what you think of Prism 23. Obviously it was overshadowed big time by Hasbullah, but I really think it's a great um, rookie class. And I think there's a lot of great fighters in here. And, you know, I'm hoping that people understand that. And, you know, once this whole Hasbullah thing passes, passes by, people will realize this is still a great set to own. So here we go. There's all the cards. Put the box over here. Have my sleeves ready to go for the big guys. And uh, stack number one is right here. Put that over there. Okay. Card number one, Hafiel Faziv. Uh, last year's big rookie. I'm not going to talk about each one, but um, still like Hafiel. He's one of the ones that like kind of like made it through. He didn't have a big loss. He did really well, and I'm excited to see where he goes next. You know, I think he could be champ at some point, so we will see. Um, Dustin Poirier. Uh, hopefully you can see the pattern on these. That's the only thing that's kind of hard. Okay, now you can see it if I go like that. The pattern's really beautiful. When I photograph these for eBay, I'm gonna make them look amazing, but it's kinda of hard in this video lighting, but that's, that's what they look like. They have that Pandora pattern, which is really cool. I like it better than the, the, the previous years where it was like a scope. I was never a big fan of scope. TJ Dillashaw, not my favorite fighter. Yair Rosenstruck. Uh, just lost to one of the big rookies in this set, um, Almeida. Uh, what's his name? Jalton uh, Almeida. That dude looks amazing, but uh, he, he mopped Yair pretty quick. Juliana Pena. 
Adrian Yanez. That's who I got my blue shimmer from my um, my first off the line. I still think Adrian Yanez is is he is a big future. I mean, I know he got beat by Font, but I think he's going to be you know snap back from that. A loss isn't that big of a deal. Marcin Tybura. Oh, cards stuck together. There's our first big rookie, Raul Rosas Jr. I am going to sleeve him up. Now, I'm going to go over these later to see if they're gradable. But for right now, the big rookies and the big guys that I want to collect, I'm going to put in sleeves and put them over here. Ah, okay. We have Michelle Watterson, the Karate Hottie. Chris Barnett. Who I, I think that's the dude that does the back or the front flip. That's super sick. Um, he's a pretty popular rookie. I might sleeve him up too. Okay. Raquel Pennington. Aaron Blanchfield. That's a huge one. She is a gigantic rookie from the set as far as the female fighters go. I like her a lot. I'm excited to see what she can do in the flyweight division. Let's leave her up. That's one that I might get graded. I'm gonna have to check it out later. Again, if you guys see anything in this that you wanna buy, hit me up on Instagram, Joe's underscore card underscore stash, and let me know, and maybe we can work something out. Tai to Avasa. Jalen Turner, my homie. Uh, he's been in Dubai. He was just uh, sparring with Hamzat and looked as big as Hamzat, which is insane. I mean, I know Jalen's big. I've, I've photographed him and met him a bunch of times, but you don't realize how big he is until he stands next to Hamzat and he's the same size and one's a lightweight and one's a, you know, 170, 185. It's crazy. Kaikar France uh, also has a main event coming up. And let's go to the next batch. We have Alexander Rakic, Mario Batista, rookie. Uh, Am Amazat, is that how you say? Am Amaz no, Azamat uh, Murkanov. He's really good. I like this guy a lot. He beat Brian Battelle, who is a really, really good up-and-coming rookie. Um, Azamat is a force. He's not talked about much, but I think this guy might be a really big deal in the UFC. So I am definitely going to um, sleeve him up, see if maybe that's a gradable candidate. Mike Malott, I know he's pretty popular as well. I uh, might sleeve him up as well. I am curious how these grade. Hopefully this pattern does okay. Uh, Chris Gutierrez, rookie. And if there's anybody you guys think I'm leaving off, please let me know because, you know, I don't know everything. Uh, we got Rob Font, Frankie Edgar, and Tetsura Tiara, huge rookie in this set. He is fighting in, when is he fighting? In June. Uh, he's undefeated. He's a flyweight. Uh, I'm excited to see what he can do. He's a really, really good fighter. A lot of people are super psyched on him. It's another one I will see how it grades or how it looks for grading. Man, these are really hard to get that like really good pattern for. There it is. Okay. And then we got Jan Blachowicz, the Polish power, who is fighting uh, Alex Pereira soon. Gonna give Alex Pereira a real test. Well, I mean, Izzy gave him a real test, but Kareen Silva, rookie, Alex Perez, Mark Madsen, Benil Dariush, Mozart Evelev, who just won recently, still looking really good, rookie from last year, big Mozart fan. Uh, this two are stuck together. Oh. Colby Covington, who is getting a shot at Leon Edwards, completely unjustified in my opinion. I don't love Colby. I don't like the fact that he's lost two or three times and gets a title shot because he's exciting. Terrence McKinney, another rookie that's pretty popular. I want to sleeve him up. A lot of people like him. I know he lost his last fight, but, you know. Uh, GSP, another cool card. Let's, let's sleeve up GSP. GSP. 
see, Abubakar Nurmagomedov, Javid Basarat, another really good rookie. Uh, I'm excited to see his next fight. I don't know when it is, but I like Javid a lot. Uh, probably get him graded if it looks good. Caitlin Chikugian, Alexander Volkanovsky fighting Yair Rodriguez. It's going to be an epic fight. Martin Boudet, rookie. Brandon Moreno, also fighting soon. Nazarene Imadov, another big rookie. Like him a lot. Uh, you know, honestly, I would take note of all the people I'm saying because I've done some research and there's a lot of good rookies in here that have a, a big chance of doing stuff. So, you know, if I mention them, you might want to take note. Corey Sanhagen, props to Corey Sanhagen. You know, obviously I'm a Cheeto Barrera fan, love Cheeto. Uh, I was sad to see him lose, but Corey handled that, that whole fight with such class and he's just a badass and I, I'm super hyped on him. Sad to see, I think his, his prize for beating Cheeto is that he has to fight for Umar. That's what is, they're trying to set him up with Umar and Magomedov. So that's kind of crazy. I mean, you, you beat this fan favorite and you got to fight this killer. So honestly, I'm kind of happy that Cheeto lost that fight. Okay, next stack. Here we go. This is, dude, I'm not even going to try to say that. I don't know this guy's name. Uh, Sayur, I have no idea. That's hard to say. Gilbert Burns, Torino. I was super bummed he lost, but it sounds like he hurt He hurt himself pretty bad. I think he was trying to fight too much, but one of my favorite fighters, I will back him till my dying day. Tony Ferguson. Jeremiah Wells, I believe he's fighting soon too. Um, he's a rookie that I, I hear a lot of people talking about. Let's uh, sleeve him up. Habib, you got to sleeve up Habib. We'll put the non-rookies over there. Alexander Pantoja also fighting Brandon Moreno for the belt. We'll sleeve him up. There's Pantoja. Oop, as I drop it. Uh, Matias Nicolau. Let's see, we got Brandon Ortega, T-City. Nikita Krylov, Damon Jackson, rookie, Sean Brady. Who's Sean Brady fighting? Sean Brady is fighting someone soon. Um, Jack De La Magdalena is, is fighting Sean Brady. That's a crazy fight. I'm so excited for that one. Henry Cejudo could not beat Aljo. I was a little bummed about that. Umar, Umar, we got to sleeve up. He's one of the biggest non-rookies in this set. Yuri Prohoshka, the same thing. We'll sleeve him up. He is going to fight for the belt soon with uh, uh, Jamal Hill. Very excited for that one. Kyler Phillips, Aljo Sterling, Matt Schnell, Brian Battle, another big rookie in this set. Uh, he just had a great fight. He won in like, what did. He won in 14 seconds over Gabe Green. Uh, his only loss is to Azamat, which shows you how good Azamat is. Uh, but he was a big, I think he won uh, the Ultimate Fighter Contender Series, something like that, but he's a, he's a great fighter. Matt Frivola, uh, another big rookie, uh, the Steamroller. He also won recently. What did he win? He won over Drew Dober, which is no joke. I mean, Drew Dober's great, and Matt Frivola beat him. So big on this guy. Uh, let's set this up a little nicer. We'll start a new stack. And Daniel Rodriguez, who lost to Ian Gary recently, but Ian Gary looked incredible in that fight. Okay, so that's one stack. That one's done. Let's do this stack. We have Manon for Fiorat, one of the best women's fighters in flyweight. Can't wait to see her fight again. Anthony Smith just lost to, uh, oh my God, the guy who does the worm. Terrible. But yeah, 
Sucks for Anthony. Michael Morales, big rookie right there. Uh, one of Cheeto's buddies from Ecuador. Really, really good fighter. Um, Michael Morales is fighting, uh, it doesn't say who's fighting soon, but like him a lot. And then we have Chaining Vilmos. Piera Rodriguez, rookie. Drakar Close, rookie. Uh, Alan Tingeli, rookie. Marina Rodriguez. Hard, uh, and we have Bo Nickel, one of the biggest fighters in this entire set. Bo Nickel is fighting, uh, what is his name? Gore. Um, geez, there's a lot of these cards stuck together. Bo Nickel is fighting Gore, July 8th. Uh, it's a big test. Gore's really good. Bo Nickel also, obviously, one of the biggest fighters in here. Hopefully, he can win that fight and keep going. We will see. Saeed Namragomedov. Chris Curtis, another big rookie from this set. Randy Brown. There's a lot of rookies in the set, which is pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with how Prism did this. Ian Gary, Ian Gary beating Danny Rodriguez, like, no problem, really impressed me. Uh, I don't have any Ian Gary rookies, so I'm a little bummed about that, but this is a cool card. Uh, if it's gradable, I might grade it. Tabitha Ricci, Baby Shark, another good rookie. Uh, I've noticed she's pretty popular. People seem to like her. Uh, Brazilian fighter, flyweight, or strawweight. Uh, we'll see what she can do. I like her a lot. Uh, Jake Matthews, another big rookie. Justin Gaethje fighting Dustin Poirier. Who you guys got in that one? That's going to be a banger. Alex Pereira, Poetan. Let's sleeve him up. That's a big card from this set. And Cody Durden, another rookie. And let's grab another stack. Bilal Muhammad. Molly McCann, Meatball Molly, Cyril Gan, Renat. I like Renat a lot. This is another one of my favorite rookies. I think he's crazy overlooked, very talented, just a badass. Look out for this guy for sure. Francis Ngannou uh, just signed with PFL. A lot of people are pissed off about it. I'm happy for him. He deserves everything he fights for. Uh, we'll put him over there. Talia Santos, Jamal Hill, Kamaro Usman, Alexa Grasso, Chito Vera. I know, uh, I forget his name. Uh, one of my buddies is collecting the rainbow for this. Hit me up. I will get you this for a good deal. I want you to have this card. BJ Penn, Mohamed Makayev, another gigantic rookie from this uh, set. Love Muhammad Makayev. He's another flyweight that is just a big problem. He's so good. I think he's undefeated, but uh, I don't know that for sure, but huge fan of his. Conor McGregor. Never heard of him. Uh, Conor is obviously a huge star, and hopefully he'll fight soon if he can get all those steroids out of his system. Robert Whitaker, Jeff Neal, Tisha Torres, Jared Cannonier, Carol Rosa, Alexander Volkov, Marvin Vittori, Brandon Royval, Carlos Ulsberg, another huge rookie I love from this set. Uh, this guy looks incredible. Not to mention, I don't know if you guys know, but he was a male stripper at one point. If you are a male stripper, you are fucking awesome in my book, so... Carlos Olsberg, great fighter, male stripper, collect his cards. Curtis Blades, Rose Nama Yunus, Giga Chikatse, Tom Aspinall, coming back pretty soon. Can't wait to see him. Jennifer Maya. Okay, we're going to stop this right now. Oh, actually, no, we'll go through these real quick, and then we'll stop after that. Caitlin Vieira. Uh, I'm not going to try to say that. Rookie. Matt Hughes, Brock Lesnar, 
Norma Dumont, another big rookie that people really seem to like. She beat um, Carol Rosa recently. Carol Rosa's a huge fighter, so that was a big win for Norma Dumont. Uh, like her a lot. I'm gonna put her there. DC, Daniel Cormier, um, Uriah Faber, Glover Textera, Tony Gravely rookie, Jessica Andraj, Hamzat Chemaev, another obviously huge fighter. Hope he fights soon. Please fight soon, Hamzat. Here we go. We have Sean Strickland. Ignacio Bajo Mendez, Valentina Shevchenko, John Casaneda, Leon Edwards, Amanda Nunez, Max Holloway. Keep wanting to show like the pattern. Okay, this is one of the better. This is one of my favorite rookies from this class. Kyle Barajo, uh, Barajo, I guess is how you say it, but I just call him Kyle. He's so good. Um, he just had a fight last weekend or the weekend before, and he's undefeated in the UFC, but he hadn't got a, 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 a not a decision, but a, a stoppage, and he got a sub in the second round. So this dude is a beast. I'm super hyped on him. Uh, Kyle Barajo, another big rookie that I like a lot. Uh, Pat Sabatini, David Dvoriak, rookie, Sergey Pavlovic, another, you know, not a rookie, but this guy is a beast. Like, the heavyweight division has to watch out for him. I mean, he just keeps knocking everybody out so quickly. So, big fan of his. Can't wait for his next fight. Irene Aldana, Vivian Arejo, John Jones, yep. Another goat, you gotta sleep him up. He's just amazing. So, uh, John Jones, there you go. Uh, Lucas Almeida, another big rookie. Uh, not a big rookie, but a rookie. Anderson, the Spider Silva. Malisk, I can't say his name. I'm just gonna say Malisk. Carlo Esparza. Paulo Costa, and the rest of this pile, Derek Brunson, Shavkat Rachmanov, uh, I will sleep him up, just, uh, you know, out of everyone from last year, he's, you know, just thriving, even a second year card is worth a lot, gonna put him over there, Israel Adesanya, same thing, you know, his beating his boogeyman, uh, Alex Pereira was just huge, and I, I can't say enough good things about Izzy. I'm a huge fan of Izzy. Yair Rodriguez, we'll see if he can keep the belt. Jordan Levitt, the Monkey King. Macy Chason. Andrea Lee. Uh, Patty the Batty Pimlet, who has been hurt. And I don't know. I really, what do you guys think? Do you think he wins his next fight? I have no idea. So much hype last year. I really don't know how good he is. I'd be interested to see if he wins the next fight. He hurt his hand. It's been a while. We will see. Still worth a lot of money, so I'm going to put that one away. Chanson Young. Petter Jan. Dominic Cruz. Brandon Mania. That one's for you. If you want it, let me know. Uh, Steven Wonderboy Thompson, Jack Hermanson, Yana Huniskaya, and Josh Emmett, who's fighting Ilya Teporia. Boy, if he beats Ilya, he's going to really stop a hype train. He's good enough to do it, though. He's really good. All right, last pile. Here we go. Let's see what we can get. Amanda Lemos, rookie card. She's another big rookie. Uh, I'm going to sleeve her up. There we go. Amanda Lemos. Um, Matthew Semmelsberger, semi, semi the Jedi. Matt over the Golden Octagon told me that's his nickname. Bryce Mitchell, worst photo in the set. 
that's a ridiculous photo. Why would you do that to him? I don't even like him, but that's mean. Penny Kianza. Darren Till, not in the UFC, probably going to fight in BKFC. Sean O'Malley, Sugar Sean is going to fight for the belt. Uh, I don't know. I kind of, I hope he beats Aljo. I hope he beats Aljo and Cheeto gets a, a chance to fight him again and could, you know, maybe win the belt from him. I'd be very excited for that. I think it's a good thing for UFC in general if uh, Sugar wins that belt. Uh, Holly Holm. Euros Medic Rookie. Joe Pfeiffer. Joe Pfeiffer has a documentary out that I hear it is really good. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm a big fan of his. I, I like him a lot. He's another good rookie. Maybe get that graded. We'll see. Lauren Murphy. Amanda Rebus. Macy Barber. Is that one card? No, that's two. Boy, these really stick together. I don't want to mess them up, though. Calvin Cater. Paul Craig. Davison Figueredo. Sean the Sniper Woodson. Another good rookie, but I'm not going to sleep him. Ilya Taporia. I mean, out of last year's rookies, I don't think you can do much better than Ilya. He looks incredible. Can't wait to see him fight Josh Emmett. He could be, you know, he could be... Uh, Champ, no problem. Vicente Luque, Luque, Johnny Walker. Is that one card or two cards? Okay. Luana Pinero, rookie. Andre Petrovsky and Marab Devashvili. How funny was that? Marab taking uh, Sean's jacket. That was amazing. I like Marab. I had a great teal rookie of his, and I sold it, and I'm actually kind of sad because I think he really has a chance to be champ. He's really good. And our last stack, here we go. Casey O'Neill from last year. Love Casey O'Neill. I know she lost, but I think she has a big, big future ahead of her. Pedro Munoz, Derek Lewis, uh, Natan Levy, and we have two cards stuck together, three cards stuck together. Ah! Islam Makachev. Islam is obviously one of the biggest fighters in the UFC. We got to sleep him up. All right. Uh, Volkan Ozdemir. Jonathan Pierce, another big rookie. Mackenzie Dern had a great win. Mackenzie looked amazing in the last fight. Um, pretty, pretty psyched on, on Mackenzie. You know, I watch her train here. I've seen what she's gone through. I know she's going through divorce. I know all the shit she's going through. She fights through it. She trains all the time. She has a little girl here all the time. I'm so happy for her. I hope nothing but the best for her. Anthony Fluffy Hernandez. He just won last weekend, I think. Uh, yeah, big oh, uh, over Edmund Serbajian. So um, Fluffy, killing it. Best nickname in the UFC, too. Michael Chandler, Charles Oliveira, Du Bronx, Philip Rowe, Dominic Reyes, Song Yidong, Yidong Song, JDM, Jack De La Magdalena. Uh, he's going to fight Sean Brady. I could not be more excited for a fight than these guys. They're just both so fun. I love JDM. Uh, hopefully this card looks good. I will get this graded because I think he has a huge future ahead of him. Jan Zanon uh, also won recently. I think she's going to be fighting for the belts. Uh, Jorge Masvidal. Magomed Ankalaev. Uh, Arnold Allen. Michelle Pereira. Um, Chidi Rookie. Chidi Ninjek. I don't know how to say it. Rafael Dos Anjos. Dreykus Duplass. Stipe Miocic, is he going to fight John Jones? What do you guys think? I, I have no idea if this fight's going to happen. Jelton Almeida, probably top five rookie from this class for me. He looks incredible. He just fought in a main event and whooped Biggie Boy. This guy is the real deal. Collect his cards. Don't fuck around. Sell all your Hasbala and buy this dude's cards. That's my advice.
Zhang Wei Li, Hossein Nuyez, and the man, the myth, the guy who I talk shit about all the time, Hezbollah. Hopefully this thing makes me some money so I can pay back this box because I truly, truly don't give a shit about this dude. <laughs> but if you want to buy it, let me know. I'm all for whoever wants to buy it. He's a rookie. He's got that rookie emblem. Look at that. Who's he going to fight next? He's not because he's not a fighter. <laughs> all right. Time for the exciting part. We have our auto. Now, as I said, the auto I really, really hope for is Hamzat, but that's a redemption, so that's not super exciting. So maybe Izzy, that'd be another one. I already have the Habib in a mojo, so I don't really want the Habib, but I'll take an Usman. Uh, I think there's a Brock Lesnar. Eh, uh, Geishi. Eh, but whatever. Let's see what we got. Are we forward facing? We are. Okay. Uh, prism. Oh, I think I saw it. We're just going to count to three. One, two, three. <laughs> it's the Habib. Uh, I mean, you can't complain about Habib, but damn, I have two cards that are very similar. I guess I could keep one now and get one graded. This one's actually really well centered, so this would probably be the one I keep, and I'll sell the other one. So, I mean, fuck, Habib. Habib, out of 15, is actually lower numbered than the other card I have, so damn. I mean, I can't complain. That's it. Hope you guys like this video. Hope it was entertaining. I did my best. I got more stuff coming. Love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this. And also, you know, if you want any of these cards, look at my Instagram. Hit me up. Direct message me. I'm going to look at my eBay. My eBay is, I don't know, uh, I, I think it's, it's just Joe's card. Just look up Joe's card stash. You'll find it. Um, buy any of these cards. I want to try to make back all my money from this box. That's the big thing. I want to get these cards out to you guys. They're really cool. They're really beautiful. So hit me up on Instagram, eBay, whatever. Thanks for watching. Love you all. See you next time.